Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a logo reveal. Looks pretty cool and it's completely made from first party plugins. Now, like I had said, this is done with first party plugins. It's uh, really kind of a simple process, um, but you do have to do lots of different copies in order to make it so that the logo is actually inside of the sphere. We're using the CC Sphere Eyes plugin and a transition in order to create this look. And we'll also learn a little bit about copying with property links. Um, it's a pretty cool method, and let me just show you quickly how to do it. Let's start with a new composition. Give it a name. Let's give it a nice background. Okay. Now, first thing I want to do is I want to have the logo that the, the sphere is going to be around. It can be whatever you want. So there's going to be my logo. I'm going to go ahead and make this 3D. Now to start the sphere, we need to have a solid and it needs to be square. So I'm going to go to layer, new solid, and set this to 1000 by 1000. And let's pick the colors we want. So I'm gonna do two of them. So let's have one of them be kind of a red, like in the example, and the other one will be blue. Now first what I wanna do is add some effects to this. So we'll go down to transition, linear wipe, and then perspective, CC sphere. I'm gonna make the radius on this one larger. And then let's come in and adjust the lighting. I don't like the way the lighting is. I'm gonna bring the lighting height all the way up to 100. And with the shading, increase the ambient. Bring the diffuse down a little bit. Take away the specular. So something just about like that. I want a little bit of shading, but not a whole lot. Now this is where things get cool. With this linear wipe, if I take off this CC sphere, so it's just the square again, what it does is it just wipes across at whatever angle. When it's on a sphere, well, it looks a lot cooler. Look at that. So now in order to get the front and the back, because as I do this, you can see the logo is not inside of the sphere, we need to duplicate this. And what I want to do is I want to duplicate it using property links so everything is linked together and I don't have to worry about animating two different layers. So highlight the layer, go to edit, copy with property links, and then hit command or control V to paste and it pastes it up on top. And I wanna take that second one and bring it down to the bottom. Let's go ahead and just name these so that you don't get too confused. Red T for top, red B for bottom. And what I'm gonna do is go into the bottom layer, twirl down into my effects. And on the sphere, right here where it says render full, there is an expression that connects that part of the filter to the other part of the filter on the top layer that controls it. And I want everything to control except for this render. So I'm going to hold down Option or Alt and click on the stopwatch and it'll delete that expression. Now it's good to go. And I can take this render and I want that just to be the inside. And on this top one, I want to be the outside. So now it looks like it's inside of the sphere. And I can do this kind of a reveal. It's pretty cool. Now let's also come into the rotation. I can rotate around and you can instantly see the really cool stuff we can do with this. And now let's set up the blue. So I'm going to duplicate this red top. I'm going to bring it down below the red. Let's give it a name. Blue T. And then if you hit command shift Y or control shift Y, it'll bring up the settings for that solid that you have highlighted. And I can easily come in here and just change the color. Click new. And now I have a blue one. Let's go ahead and change the transition on the blue. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to take the radius and make it smaller. And what I want to do is the same thing. I'm going to copy this with property links. Then paste it. Bring that down below the logo. Change the name. And then come into the effects. 
and take off the expression on the render because we want that to be inside. So now in order to animate this, we only have to animate the top two, the red top and the blue top, and it will automatically change everything as we go along. So let's go into the rotation on this one and just play around with, with the angle and the wipe and you can get some really cool looking results. Now I'm going to go ahead into this logo. I'm going to go ahead and make that bigger. So it fits inside a little bit better. And it's also 3D. So let's go ahead and animate it how I had it at the beginning, where it kind of swirled in. So let's go to about 12, and this is where I want the red to land. So let's go in to the transform, and I'm going to keyframe the anchor point, scale, and rotation. Let's go to the beginning. I'm going to leave one frame, so I'm going to go one frame in. And let's first bring the scale down almost all the way. I'll do it all the way later, but I just want to be able to see it still. Change the anchor point. Change the rotation. And bring the scale the rest of the way down to zero. And it's going to look like it just kind of swirls into place. And what I also like to do is with the scale, I'm going to take that where it hits 100, move it just one frame that way, bring it to 10, say 3, and move that one frame that way. So it's going to kind of, when it hits, it's going to kind of bounce into place. And then at this point where it hits, all these other layers, I'm going to go ahead and cut those there. So that's Alt or Option on your keyboard, and hit the left square bracket. And it'll cut them right there so you won't see them as it flies in. After it hits, let's now animate the red. So I'm going to keyframe the wipe angle transition, and the rotation, because I don't know what I want to do yet. I might want to kind of animate all of those. So let's move a little bit forward. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe a little bit of that. And finish that off. It's a little bit fast. So I hit U on the keyboard and I open up my keyframes and I'm going to drag those out a little bit. Move them over. I like that. Now I need to animate the blue. So let's go to the blue layer. And I want them to, it's to start when this one's about halfway through keyframe, transition, angle, rotation, and I think that one's just fine the way it is. I'm not going to change anything but just the transition on that one. And I might need to have it start a little sooner. That's looking pretty cool. And what I want to do is I want this logo to kind of spin into place. Because it is a 3D layer, I can do that easily. Let's go to rotation. And right here where it's pretty much revealed, there's a little corner on it. This is where I want the rotation to be normal. And then about where you can see that it's rotating, I'm going to keyframe all of this. So then, that's a little fast. We can spread those keyframes apart. Let's see what this looks like. And I like that. I do want these to be easy ease. So I'm going to highlight the keyframes. Go down to Keyframe Assistant, Easy Ease. Looking pretty cool. Now, to add just a little bit more to this, I want to add some motion blur. The only problem is with this linear wipe, it's technically not moving. So the motion blur doesn't work with it. And so what we need to do is add a fake motion blur. So let's go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer. And on this, we're going to add an effect 
down in time, force motion blur. And what this is going to do is it's going to analyze all the movement in the scene, pixel for pixel, and then create a motion blur for it, even though these layers aren't technically moving because it's done with an effect. It does take a little bit more to render though. So let's check it out. Looking pretty cool. Things I might add are maybe have the inside. Let's go down to this blue. And on the light and shading, I want to take off the expressions on the shading. So I just held down Option or Alt on my keyboard, clicked on all the stopwatches. And now I can make it darker on the inside. Maybe add back that specular just so it's a little bit different from the front because the blue kind of mixed in and it's hard to see. So that is pretty cool looking logo reveal. It's done with CC Sphere. It's done with linear wipe and it's really easy to put together. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to post a comment below and hopefully I can answer that for you. If you have any tutorial requests, put those down there as well. I do take requests. Thank you so much for watching and I'm excited to see what you do with this new technique. So make sure you let me know. Thanks, bye.